This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Amrody Waller. On today's global unrest in Brazil as Bolsonaro supporters refuse to accept the result of the presidential elections. Police fired tear gas as they tried to break up blockades of major roads across the country. Chair Bolsonaro still hasn't conceded defeat 48 hours after Lula da Silva's election win. We'll get the latest on that story also on the programme. An exclusive investigation into violent clashes between Moroccan and Spanish border guards and African migrants in June. 24 people died and dozens more are still missing. We piece together what actually happened. I asked this question to the entire world. Why is human life so cheap? What crime did they commit to deserve that treatment? To die in a country like Morocco, only inches away from Spain and the EU. I didn't die that day, but I'm not alive now. A week till the crucial US midterms with the Republicans hoping to wrestle control of Congress. We report from Arizona where Republican politicians who say the 2020 election was stolen are running for office. You're across the pond and you think you know about our election. Well, I'm only saying just, the audit just, here. Let me the, just audit, say the audit showed Biden. Let right? me just say one thing. If you think you're going to come over here and tell us how things are operating, you got another thing coming. Three, two, one, zero, liftoff. And SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, the world's most powerful rocket, lifts off for the first time in three years. Hello and welcome back to BBC News. Let's start in Brazil where in the last couple of hours the president uh, for the Workers' Party has announced that uh, they want to start setting up uh, the government transition this Thursday. It's after riot police fired tear gas earlier today as they tried to break up blockades of lorry drivers loyal to Jair Bolsonaro. Protests have spread to 13 different states as his supporters refuse to accept the results of Sunday's election. Well, these are some of the latest pictures from Sao Paulo. Mr. Bolsonaro, who's been silent so far, is expected to speak, we think, in about an hour's time, according to one of his ministers. He is also reported to uh, be due to meet the country's Supreme Court judges. Well, Lula da Silva, the former left-wing president, won the election by a narrow margin on Sunday. Our South America correspondent, Katie Watson, has the latest from Sao Paulo. The transport police... 